So I get out my laptop and I do a search for who was president in the United States during the Downton Abbey era. Have you ever done that? Like you, you're numbing with TV or a movie and so when it's over you just like stay in that space by like learning more about the actors and what's going on. Um, I've been doing this long enough to know this is like, you're laughing with me, not at me. Um, so I put it in and Theodore Roosevelt comes up and a quote comes up. And I read it. And this is what it says. It's a quote from a speech that he gave in the early 1900s at the Sorbonne. And a lot of people call it the man in the arena speech. And this is the passage that changed, changes my life. It's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done it better. The credit belongs to the person who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred with blood and sweat and dust, who at the best, in the end, knows the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, he fails daring greatly. So the moment that I read that, I closed my laptop, and this is what shifted in me. Three huge things. First, I spent the last 12 years studying vulnerability, and that quote was everything I know about vulnerability. It is not about winning, it's not about losing, it's about showing up and being seen. The second thing, this is who I want to be. I want to create. I want to make things that didn't exist before I touched them. I want to show up and be seen in my work and in my life. And if you're going to show up and be seen, there is only one guarantee, and that is you will get your ass kicked. That is the guarantee. That's the only certainty you have. If you're going to go in the arena and spend any time in there whatsoever, especially if you've committed to creating in your life, you will get your ass kicked. So you have to decide at that moment, I think for all of us, if courage is a value that we hold, this is a consequence. You can't avoid it. The third thing, which really set me free, and I think Steve, my husband, would argue has made me somewhat dangerous, is kind of a new philosophy about criticism, which is this. If you're not in the arena also getting your ass kicked, I'm not interested in your feedback. <laughs> Period. That's it. You know? I, I, you know, if you have constructive information, feedback to give me, I want it. And you know, I'm an academic. I'm hardwired for wrestling around with stuff like that. If you say, hey, you forgot all this literature, or hey, you should have done this, or terrible sentence construction over here. Like, let's go, let's, let's do it. I love that. But if you're in the cheap seats, not putting yourself on the line, and just talking about how I could do it better, I'm in no way interested in your feedback. <laughs>